Hey guys, I've had a, quite a few questions over the last couple days about the heated seat stuff in the town cars. Now, I'm educated when it comes to uh, electrical and stuff like that, and I do a lot of diagnostics. You guys see a lot of my videos that put up. But I can't say that I completely understand what's going on with every single manufacturer and stuff like that. I know Fords. I know the new stuff. I know some of the older stuff, but I can't answer all questions. Now, somebody said, hey, whenever I put my my switch on over here and I turn my heated seats on it'll light up and then it'll shut off or right, it'll light up it'll flash and it'll shut off something to that extent well typically when that happens the switch is obviously getting power and to understand if a heating element in the seat is out it's burned up because some of the contact points in between where your butt will sit all the time um, and it flexing those wires eventually will break. And if it doesn't have a completed circuit, to be, it'll get sent back to the module that's behind the passenger side door that gets to see what's going on between the two seats. It won't operate that circuit. Now, you'll have a passenger seat that works perfectly fine, but the driver's seat won't. Now, I spent about uh, an hour and a half to two hours reading through literature and stuff like that on the heated seats and looking at diagrams and stuff like that. And it's a pretty simple system overall. There's nothing that complicated about it. And 90% of what it would come down to is your heating seat, your heated seat elements, the pads itself, actually being bad. Not so much wiring, uh, not so much switches. More than anything, it's the actual device itself because it's just a thin pad of wire running through it. Now, what you could do is figure out where the connector in the seat is to that pad and ohm it out, and you should get a reading. And if you get no reading when you ohm it out, then obviously your pad's bad. That is ultimately the best way to do it, is to actually check the element itself. Now, Ford did eventually come out with an update or provision saying that you could get the foam part of the seat with the element attached because it was more secure that way. And that was the new updated design. And they were saying that the pad itself wasn't available anymore, but that's simply not true because now there's all kinds of aftermarket manufacturers that actually make those heated pads and then you go on eBay and there's like brand new OEM ones that people have never used. They're still really good ones that were pulled out of wrecked cars and stuff that people are selling for like 20, 25 bucks. And then it's a matter of breaking down the seat itself, which there's really nothing to it. Breaking down a seat is a lot easier than people think. They just don't or they can't wrap their mind around pulling the seat out and, and going the extent of doing all that. And some people find ways to do it in the vehicle itself. Um, I want to replace the pad in my driver's seat. But I don't want to spring the 150 bucks uh, to buy a new pad from Tasca or something like that online. Um, so I'll be taking this seat apart soon to probably restuff it a little bit. Because now that I've had this thing for a few months, the seat is not completely wore out yet. But it is sinking kind of low. And I'd like to beef it up just a hair so it has a little bit more firmness to it. Not quite so much as Vit Vitaly's. Uh, you, you, Mr. Kaufman, you know his channel. Uh, I drove his car. His seat is stuffed to the gills. I mean, it's it's stuffed tight. And uh, I don't want it that, that firm. Um, I would like it a little softer than that. So I'm going to be looking at that soon. I might go to like Hobby Lobby and get some foam for the seat or something to, do, to go that route. But there's really nothing that hard to these seats. The best thing that you guys can do is actually start digging into it. What I would do, if I was you, is I'd go to the passenger seat that's working and I would ohm it out. Obviously, depower the circuit. Don't have anything on, key in the off position, unplug the seat heater element. I don't have heated seats in this car or I would show you and actually ohm that element out and then bump over to your driver's side and ohm that element out. I bet you'll find nine times out of 10, it's just way out of whack. It's something, some number that doesn't even make sense or you're getting OL out of limits, no reading at all. That's pretty much what it comes down to in a nutshell. Um, I can post a second video with all kinds of diagrams and stuff showing you guys like kind of directions on how to take the seat apart and stuff like that if that's something that you would be interested in. Kind of like the breakdown and numbering system in Ford's diagram on what each part is and the numbering of it. Um, if you want that, let me know because I'll do that. I have about, I want to say I have about 30 pages of breakdown stuff on the seats in these cars on how to actually take them apart and put them together um, from like a 03 to 2011. This was specifically pulled up on a 2006 and a 2007, but they're all pretty much the same when it comes down to it. If that's something you want, 
tell me and I'll give you the complete breakdown. I'll just make a video of nothing but screenshots of breakdowns of the Lincoln Town Car seats on what the parts are called, the, how they're numbered, and then the step-by-step -step directions on how to break them down via paper, the manufacturer, and then here soon, I'm actually going to break the seat down and show you how to do it my way. Uh, just let me know. I mean, here's a, just a little bit of talking point on that heated seat issue that people are having. It's not really that complicated, guys. It's just um, the module behind the passenger door that every Thing reports to is uh, basically the control factor your switches are what turn it on and off and if the module doesn't see good voltage going through that element and returning it's not gonna let that circuit activate so chances are that element itself is what's bad I hope this helps somewhat I know it wasn't giving you the exact answer but at least I gave you some good pointers on what to do and if you need those diagrams printed out I will put them up here on a slow screenshot rolling basis where I can, you know, kind of slow the speed down of how they roll across the screen. And then you can pause it as you go and look at things from there. But if you want to dig into this more, I don't have any problem on Monday pulling PTS up and pulling like a 2006 town car up and taking you step by step for the, for the pinpoint test on how to diagnose heated seats not working. But I think this would be a good start before we even get there on uh, comparing one seat that is working to the other and you're going to find your own problem right there that's going to be the best easiest way so you have one good working seat and you have one seat that's not working so then you can compare your numbers bam got it fixed thanks guys appreciate you subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up please a lot of people Lately, I know I know we get complacent but a lot of subscribers here and stuff that actually come to me for info and stuff that that I go out of my way to help or i try to at least uh they become complacent on the channel and then um you know we become buddy buddy and stuff like that there's nothing wrong with that i'll help you guys i, I love you all you know I i'd do anything for you but remember to support the channel always a thumbs up leave some kind of comment something like that I encourage other people to do the same thing i see people that have been here for over a year year and a half um before i even started putting any effort into the channel like i have been lately and you know, they'll come by and they'll leave a ton of comments, but nothing changes with the, the like count or, uh, you know, I, I don't, uh, maybe you don't like the video. That's fine. It thumbs it down. Then that's, I got a, I got a guy that chronically does that, but just want to put out there how important it is for the channel to grow. That other stuff needs to be there. Thank you. Be blessed.